Hello all, today you could take the role of startup entrepreneur or maybe market leader or an angel investor or even a business process outsourcer as we take a look at Disrupt, a game that sees you battling in this business marketplace to be their next tech titan. Now it's medium complexity, says it plays one to four, takes 50 to 90 minutes and we have the designers and publisher there as well now this is a preview copy so components and rules may differ slightly on the final versions of all the links in the description to the kickstarter okay let's take a closer look then so for today's run through we have a free player setup we've got the starter upper over here followed by the angel investor and the market leader and i'll go through all these bits and pieces in a moment we have left out the business process outsourcer which is going to be a stack here and in a two free player game you do use these still you just get all the worker placement cards and that'll make sense in a minute and we will reveal theirs first before i forget which goes on here okay so what have we got we are heading to silicon valley and we are trying to become maybe the next tech giant maybe we're trying to secure tech giants that are already there but you're trying to amass the most wealth for the end of the game by having your tech giants as most market share and that'll determine their value by these sort of red cubes that come out over here and those red cubes multiplied by how many shares you have gives you your wealth and you see who is the winner now your money's tracked on these sort of cool little credit cards which will be you know going up and down and a little bit about the setup then so this is the workflow coming down in columns that's where you're going to be placing these cards to get hopefully various tasks achieved so you can see the blue cards are going on here you've got mark you've got well next is green in development and then you've got these marketing cards and I'll, I'll go through all those as we sort of play through the run through but you've got four cards to start off with you've got a deck and you can pick up cards and play cards at certain points when you go into your action so you've got the pipeline coming across as your projects are you know designed then they're developed then they're marketed and then they're going to hopefully come or they will come over here by the end of the sixth round and they'll be competing with in this case meeple book so miniature prime is up against meeple book board tube is against card flicks and i'm sure these seem very familiar names uh Eternium, if i saw you say it goes up against dice crunch at the end of the game all these will have processed here now if they have a cube of each type so you can see these guys already start of those cubes if they have a cube of each type they can compete in the market but if they don't say they're missing this marketing cube then they are worth zero and there's a bit of fluctuation depending on some of these hidden tiles that only the starter upper knows because they're the one who placed them out and they can influence things at the last minute and the market share can go up and down and influence the actual value of the corporation so a lot of little sneaky things to think of not even considering the market and how it can be impacted at you know a bear in a bull market or no chance of these three sort of information tokens so that's the flow of the round and, and the six rounds as i say when they get to here you're going to score up and there's a sneaky way to get bonus money depending on the amount of resources and stuff you've done on this sort of um sort of brand awareness track here so each player then has got a deck of cards uh, they've got this sort of tracker for your money the start rep starts with 10 mil the angel investor has 20 and or was it 15 20 i think it was and the market leader has got 25 so these guys are in a strong position to begin with but they're trying to hold that position and prevent these new guys into the industry from from gaining market share and dominance there and they have different setups so it is an asymmetrical you know game uh, asymmetry so you've got these guys will only have shares in their free organizations so they have complete power over these three here and they've got all the shares uh, well, i say all the shares they've got the majority of shares the angel investor has one of each share and these guys have only two shares of each in the big players so they don't have any shares in these startups and you have three remaining shares which are randomly dealt in these sort of three positions at the bottom so the board then we've gone through the the workflow and the pipelines and what's happening up here this section here is where you're going to be placing your cool little workers and it's quite clever you're going to go from sort of top to bottom and once people start hogging the bottom spaces you know there's less options to choose from so you can go to any of these four and there's 
worker placement spots if players decide to put these cards out and these will all get removed at the end of the game now these are interesting some of them you've got these sort of splitter ones so when i go here i can pick where these resources go on which side so i could put these two innovation tokens on this side and one of the light tokens here and then the actual person who placed the card so it reminds you at the top who placed it gets to pick who's going to take which side so interesting mechanic that one and where are we so yep yeah, you've got some workers you're placing out on these spots down here now this is where the the battle for the shares and the purchasing into those companies is going to happen so you can see each player's got a row and they can put their shares up for sale at certain points when you're allowed to from the actions and you've got each player's got a row and then the columns dictate the actual values and the one at the bottom is the public market so you can buy shares at certain prices and if you buy an opponent's share on here that they've put it for sale or set for sale for sale you're going to give them the money and these will cycle through you've got these event cards that are going to impact which shares the public are going to buy on here as well this one's the social hype which will sort of break ties and make it easier for certain more popular shares at the top to be purchased by the public and you've got the brand obviously called the the brand awareness here which you can spend you know cards to go up and this is the start and order so if you're at the left you know you can see these spots here there's the lotus spot for, for two of them and you will the, the furthest to the left will be the highest and once you get to these sort of four spots here you're locked in then and, and people can't you know uh, get you to the top if you get there first now these are important because certain actions will let you trigger them so if you're up here you can trigger either this uh, benefit here or any of the previous ones below so you pick one which is, is kind of nice they can sort of add on you get extra tokens so you could go up the social hype get light tokens so these are the main sort of resources in the game you got likes which are great for sort of developing your marketing you got innovation here the little light bulb and you've got experience as well so you can attain a host of resources you can you know play cards and you can get more development cubes out on the board as well okay so that's probably enough for now i'm just gonna probably just gonna dive in so what have we got these guys are at first so i'm gonna well i've revealed their worker placement card for the player that's not in the game so that is done now we go to the starter repper so they got these four cards and they have already chosen one of their starter upper sort of uh, miniature prime to go first now they could have gone board tube first they could have gone uh, ethereum but they've decided to go for this one here and as they've placed that out they've picked one of these tokens as well so only they know that when it comes to sort of end game scoring that's actually going to have a blue cube the design cube removed from it and they're going to have a marketing cube added now we've gone with that because i'm a bit concerned that people might try to sabotage us in this phase here so i'm going to add an extra cube whereas i've got two design stages and people are probably thinking oh he's not too fussed about well they're not too fussed about these design cubes so that's kind of why i've gone for that strategy and they are up then so yeah four cards now what are we thinking we've got action cards which are sort of these and you're going to get the money at the top for playing it which is unusual usually you have to pay that money but you're paying the resources so you're going to be paying these two innovation and one experience and you're getting one million and then you do the action to the bottom so that's one type of card you then got these workflow cards which match up to the colors here and yeah again you're going to get five million you're paying these resources which is why you want to go up this track and get resources and, and get them from various places from your cards as well and these will all trigger and i'll go through what they do when we actually trigger the project phase uh, the other card is the work placement cards which some factions have now they do differ massively and i'll show you at the end hopefully if i remember what each deck looks like but essentially the cards for the starter upper is mainly sort of about, about developing these areas and having cards to go in the workflow angel investor has a bit more well a lot more sway over the market and influencing the prices of shares they're trying to go in and out the these guys have a lot of uh, take that cards where they can negatively affect certain aspects here so very interesting how these sort of cards sway and what you're trying to do with them that's important because you need your mindset to be like right this is how i'm going to make the most money and wealth to win the game by doing your your strength of your particular organization okay so 
these guys are up. And the first thing they're doing then is the operations phase. So we're actually going to start playing. You've got these three little workers. Hopefully you can see most of the, the goods. And, and they're going to go to one of these five spots now. Now, they're probably going to ignore this one for now because there's some juicy stuff going on here. And let's say we're going to go for this one. I'm not going to think too hard. I'm not applying the best strategy. But what have we got? You're going to get a light token. Boom. Let's get one of those. We're then going to move down. We are going to play a card. So let's look at our four cards then. Now, it's probably a bit early to be thinking about the sort of marketing. We want to get a bit of design on the go, but frustratingly, we haven't got these three innovation icons, so I can't do that just yet. Maybe I want to go for sweet equity. Crowdfunding, I can't quite do yet. I need another innovation token. So let's go for this immediate action then so oh i can't even do that i need innovation okay so we're not playing a card oh, i could do the hype train maybe it's worth just getting out to get a bit of money so you probably want to think about first your resources before i wanted to play a card and i could have gone to one of these other ones i could have put shares up for sale which is reluctant because they want to keep hold of those majorities because that's worth points at the end but if you don't sell them to raise the funds because then you start with 10 million you're gonna have very little money to do a lot now interesting strategies as well you know the market uh, leaders might buy shares in the startup so they actually have power in them to make money at the end as well so we're going to play this card then probably not ideal now it can go anywhere in here it doesn't have to go there just to affect miniature prime which will make sense when i get to the project phase so let's go here and we're going to get two million so we're just going to increase this one here so we're now on 12 and we're going to have to pay two likes luckily we got a, a like there so we've spent those and that's the hype train done. We'll ignore those for now. They come into play after. Now, you don't replenish. You start with four. You're only going to get cards by certain actions you go to. Right, okay. So the next one, we can discard as many cards as we want to go up the progress track. Now, you can see we're lagging behind here. So I think we're just going to... Ah, do I like these? I do quite like a couple of these design ones. But maybe we'll keep the crowdfunding one because there's less innovation. We're going to discard these two and so we make our own little discard pile and we're going to take two up on here okay so we are to the left there so we've we've gone up this brand awareness which means now when we trigger it which is the next one we get leverage so that means you can trigger one of these and you stay where it is you don't go back to the beginning and what do we want then a like or do we want an improvement in the social hype now at the moment miniature prime is quite low down here so we're going to trigger that one which means we're going to go at one of our choice so we literally move this up and we bump all the others down and that's important for breaking ties when the public are going to buy those shares right over to angel investor then let's have a look what cards they have so they can affect a bit of a bit of marketing we've got an initial offering so they can buy one share from the market for two million they got the gravy train each player gains four million for each share they own of the top social hype so board tube you know they probably don't want to do that just yet they've only got the one share and these guys have got three so maybe that could be their strategy is to try and buy board tube shares but it's not even in play yet and these guys haven't raised the funds okay leverage maybe they want to put the leverage one down and influence you know positively they're having a an impact on you know most of these projects and they're going to get two million for each share they own or anyone owns so maybe let's go with the leverage one for now uh well i'm not even playing actually i've got that's my selection of cards i've got to pick where we're going here okay so we're going to send a worker out now what have we got then so we've gone through these guys you've got you no know, resources you can get you can play a card you can discard cards to go up here you can get leverage which is triggering this this one is placing your shares down onto here and you're going to get these innovation tokens for them. You can draw a card. You can go at free on the hype. You can be the starting player next time round. You can buy shares and get innovation. You can draw a card again. You can knock one of these companies down to. You can look, very nice, you can look at the top event card here and you can look at one of these 
market cards as well to see if it's a bear market or a bull market. That sounds powerful, actually, especially being the angel investor. This one, get one million. You can play a card. You can swap cards out. So you could discard, say, two free or three cards and replenish three cards. Maybe you haven't quite had the hand you want. And this one I like a lot is you can sway the market. So you can move one of these up or down, which will make a lot of sense after so i'm going to go here then so we are going to buy a share we can buy as many shares as we want and we're going to get innovation tokens that might have been something that these guys needed to do but they haven't got the funds so what are they going to buy so what was our selection of cards i think we were looking at where was it the the, the top social hype one but we will in a second have the ability to reduce one of these by two. Interesting. So we, we're just going to buy one for now. We're going to buy card flicks and that'll be apparent in a second. So we look at the, the market, uh, the column, it's on five mil. So we're going to spend five and we're down to 15. If that's right, I think we start on 20. So we've now got an additional share then. And we're going to get an innovation token. And we could have bought more, but I'm only buying the one for now. Okay, down. We are going to... Which one was that? That's draw a card. So we get a card from the top of the deck. What have we gathered? Then we've got... Corporal, oh, I can't even pronounce that. You may rearrange all three bull and bear tokens without looking at them. Wowzers, we could uh, alternate the path of the market for those. I do like that one. Okay, so we've drawn a card. Minus two. So board tube, interestingly, is going to come down... And uh, that was right. Yep, two down. And card flicks is the top. So information then. We get to look at this card here. So we can see, and this is just for us, Silicon Valley shares sold during the event phase are going to pay double the sell value. And it's going to be the five shares of the lowest price. Okay, so the angel investor is potentially thinking, right, to raise funds, then I might want to get some shares out here that aren't really progressing very well, and I'm going to get double the value to give me more funds to then buy later on into the shares that are doing well. Okay, and we also get to look at one of these. Now, we're going to go and have a look at Miniature Prime just to see. So that, at the moment, and only they would see this, is going to go one down on this market share at the end of the game but that may change as we go through okay so we are as a player well, let's try this track then so the market leader is going to get a million they've already got loads of money they don't need more well they, they you'll see how you progress through the game they're going to need every million they can get okay they are going to play a card then let's have a look what cards these guys have got so we got hackers so we could place that and that's going to influence the the payments so when it comes to this one and these guys will choose because you can see their icon whether they're going to trigger it then every player has a share in that particular project is going to have to pay a million back now interestingly i might not actually get to this sort of um, stage to show you but you can actually be negotiated with with shares and money over you know not triggering this event you can't use resources uh, i believe and you can't use or something else uh, re uh yeah resources and but you can just use shares of money okay so that's that one we've got anxiety attack we've got which is gonna take a cube off a blue cube we've got gdpr we've got limit down select a color so we haven't even got the resources for these yet so i would have liked to play anxiety attack which is a shame maybe we're going to go hackers because we have got an experience for that so we're going to place that let's say here we've paid our innovation and we're going to get four million more money excellent okay we're up to 30 mil next we can choose to discard a number of cards so I kind of like those. I'm I'm not going to I'm going to try and get the resources to match those. And the final one we can sway the market share up or down. So we're going to go down on miniature prime. And that'll make a lot of sense when I go through the end game scoring. Okay. And literally we carry on we're back around. So these guys are going to so you can see now there's less options on place. Let's say they go here then. 
just to give you a flavor of what all these icons so they can place shares down now which i think they need to do they need to raise some money so let's try and tempt people with a miniature prime out there now you can see our row is here matching the icon are we going to go at eight mil are we going to go at four mil we don't know what this event card is and the angel investor does they're hoping it comes down here because uh, they're going to get well no actually that's uh, the public buying it so let's say they're going to go at six mil okay we'll go six mil now on here you can only ever have one of your type on each one you can't have you know two stacked up you can have different ones on a on a column and you can, well different ones naturally but you can have the same one as well so if another player had a miniature prime that's fine you can have it on the same column there so six million we've set the price we haven't sold it you're not getting six million but we are getting an experience token now let me just look at our cards where's our cards was it these three was that our discard we only got the one card really okay crowdfunding so we need two innovation which is a shame it was that one but we never had the funds now we could sell another one or set the price for another one okay maybe uh, we'll leave it there for now we'll just put the minutes prime right we're going down what we got next we are drawing a card which we very much need because we we went up on the the brand awareness track so we've gained this one whistleblower remove up to two cubes from any project that's quite nice okay we'll try and get resources for that right free up on the hype right so we want miniature prime to come to the top again okay so one two three up uh, there we are miniature prime is at the top and we are going to be start player for the next round as well. So that can change, folks. There's no actual token in this particular version, but uh, the little unicorn represents you'll be starting player. Next up, Angel Investor. So let's say, I can't even recall what we were after, but they want, where are we going to go? Let's go here as well. So they're going to sell some shares now. They're going to place, they knew something. I can't remember what they knew. It's something to do with card flicks. They're going to get double the money, aren't they? So let's say they are on this row here, and they're going to go down here with 5 mil. They can see the markets here, and they know that event is going to buy, let me just remind myself, the five shares at the lowest price. They could go here, and these three are going to get bought, but maybe they're not going to chance it, and they're going to go there and get potentially 10 million, double the value. If, if uh, Let me just check that was, yeah. Shares sold during the event phase pay double the sell value. And they could do more, because they can sell as many as they want. I got rather excited then, didn't I? Okay, so let's go for a dice coin. Uh, again, we can't place it on the same spot. So we're going to take a chance of 6 mil there. Okay, so they've got two... Uh, what were we experience tokens for that down then they are going to draw a card so we've got another card which is oh i've put those in the wrong one haven't i what are we doing right they're getting those and they're drawing a card okay hopefully oh no i sold their shares <laughs> let's put dice going in card flicks back it was up here wasn't it so they're gonna get a card flicks and a dice one up there that is right okay we're dealing with the angel investor so they've took a card they're then going to increase free on the hype and again miniature prime has just gone to the top there's a battle here they want card flicks at the top which is kind of high anyway so maybe they want die coin to break ties so they're gonna go one two three up so dice coin is now in the mix and they can't become start player because that place is already hogged so you can see Gradually, these places are getting less actions to do. So, market leaders out, and let's not think too heavy. Let's go here. So, they're going to take a light token. They are going to play a card. I probably didn't want to play another card. I don't think they got the resources to do it. Let's go GDPR then. So, they are going to spend a resource, the like symbol. They place it up here. And they get three million. So they are going to be causing some headaches for these projects later on. And that's that card done. They are then going to spend... Go on, let's just spend two cards, shall we? We'll spend two cards so they're discarded. Uh, and we'll just stack them at the bottom for now. Well, no, I'll make a discard pile. Okay, so they are going to go two at one, two, and over to here. Back around the last workers. You only get three workers. 
what are they going to do? Well, I'm not going to think too hard. They're just going to take a million. They really need the funds. And they are going to play a card. What cards have we got then? Right, let's play... Well, I haven't got any design cards and I really want to show you the workflow in a minute. But let's just pretend now they had acquired another innovation because I'm not thinking optimally here. And I'm trying to play free play. So let's just say they had enough resources and they're going to play this card. So it doesn't have to be, you know, under there for that particular one and that makes sense. So we'll pop it here just to show you. So they're going to pay the resources and they're going to get 4 million, more money. And that's six. I think that is. Okay, so where were we? We have played a card. Did I play a card a minute ago? I can't remember now. And we've gone... No, no, oh, no, sorry. We've gone back around, haven't we? We went here. So one million. We've played a card. And then we can trade in cards as many as we want for another one. I think we're going to keep that one. Okay. So they're gone, right. Angel Investor, where are they going? Let's go here again. Even though we went on the same track, you can go on the same track again. That's fine. We're going to buy... No, we don't want to buy shares. We want to sell more shares. We're going to sell a share. We're not selling a share. We're setting up a share, it's known as. So this is up here. We are going to put another card flicks on, and we're going to place it at 4 mil. And we're going to get an innovation token, an experience token, for that one so they're shifting all their shares which is kind of their main focus is to manipulate the buying and selling the shares to make the most money remember okay so that was that one and they get to draw another card as well okay a lot of things going on here the last spot these guys are the market leaders are oh, thinking okay there's a miniature prime share. They're going to go for this one. I know it makes sense now. So they're thinking, right, they only start with shares in these three main organizations. So they're going to, they've got loads of money. They've been acquiring loads. So they're going to come here and they're going to buy as many shares as they want and get these little innovations tokens. So they're just going to buy one for now and they're going to buy this miniature prime at 6 million. So they're coming down to 27 and that money, so you look... Uh, the row, so you can see the starter uppers. So these guys get the share, so they have a share in that, and these guys get six million. So for having placed that share out, they've now acquired some funds, and I think that was 22. Okay, so they got more money now. So that's come off the market, they've got their innovation token, and that was action. This one, they are going to draw. I'll oh, put it in the wrong place again. Right, Miniature Prime down here. These guys are drawing a card, which they need because they've got none, because they went up the brand awareness track. Then they're going to reduce one of these by two. So they don't know what this event is. And they don't like Miniature Prime being at the top, even though they've just invested in it. So they're hedging their bets at the moment. And then knowingly, they're actually helping out the angel investor here. Okay, so everyone has done the operation phase. We now collect all your workers back. And I'm only going to do one phase, folks. So everyone takes their workers back. Now, we could have gone on this spot as well. And remember, when you go here, I completely forgot about this spot. Uh, you're going to go here, and you can see there's like two resources uh, of innovation and the like. And basically, you get to pick, right, which side am I going to put these on? Because there's two million and four million. If you really wanted most money, you might try and entice the owner to take that side. So once you've decided on the allocation the owner of the car which you can see at the top here would go right i will pick this side here so i'll get all these resources and i'll get the two mil and the player who was active and went there will get the other side four mil so it's very interesting balance of how you're going to distribute these resources maybe you'll go you know like this and actually that's a really good deal for the the, the player who put the card on again four million and a token of each whereas these guys are only getting the two mil and the token so you have to you know sway and split your resources interesting there okay so we've got about that one, but this one will be coming off at the end of the round which i'll do in a minute so now we enter 
the project phase. So that was literally operations. You're doing all your actions, prepping for this project phase. And what you do now is you're going to activate all the icons in this workflow row. There's only one project out. If a project, you know, if there's multiple projects out here, uh, you'd trigger each project and the workflow. But for now, there's only one. So we look at all the cards and it's simultaneous. And we can see that the startup player, there's their icon, they will have the decision process over this. And they are, you can see the icon here is place a design cube so they're going to place a design cube on here and that's how you attain the cubes as you progress and develop and, and grow and get the market to compete eventually for the market share we then are going to get 1 million for each player who has a share in miniature prime in this case so we've got two shares so they're going to go to a million i won't increase it but they're going to get two million these guys are going to get a million and these guys also have invested in miniature prime so they're going to get a million and you can see on the cards, you know, what players might do. And let's say, well, it's probably not worth it here, but when it gets to hackers, a company that these guys might have some money, be like, no, I don't want you to trigger that. And I'll give you a share in such and such to prevent that. So you can see how the negotiations can stop some of these from happening. So we've triggered the workflow. Now, let's give you another example. Let's say it was later on, and this one was here. Uh, because, well, that wouldn't be the case here. That one's the first out onto the board. So these are always going to be lagging to market. But let's say this one had eventually got to here. You know, this one was, uh, where should we say there? And this one was here. Now, when we trigger a workflow in the project phase, you start with the furthest right, I believe. So this one's going to trigger this one. And that particular player, which is the market leader, is going to, for each share owned a miniature prime, everyone's going to lose a million. Whoever owns this one to start up, they're going to get an orange cube represented by that little symbol there, marketing. They can increase the social height by one. So that is the flow. Each column affects the actual project. Then you come to this workflow, this column, and this particular project is affected by all the cards in this row. So that's the action there, and that's the player who could trigger it. And then board tube hasn't got any cards in there, but you'd assume there'd be quite a few cards on the board by the time it got to them. Okay, so let's just bring these back a sec. So that was the workflow done. Next, we're moving the project in its pipeline. So this is going to come one to the right, and the star repper will pick which project's going to go next. So they have to bring a new one onto the pipeline. Okay, so we are going to go for this one, and they then get to pick which token they're going to place here. So remember, they have insider knowledge. So maybe they're thinking we're going to lose a development token and gain a design when it comes to the end here. Okay, so we've activated the workflow, we've moved the project and we've placed a new project in the pipeline. Done, that is the project phase. We then go over to the event. So we're going to reveal the top event, which the the angel investor knows what's happening. So Silicon Valley, shares sold during the event phase pay double the sell value. So the public are going to buy five shares at the lowest price. So it's pretty much most of them here. Um, and we can see the first one then, four million, and it's going to be double. So the uh, player is eight mil, and it's in this. Well, they're all in angel investors. They're, they're the only ones who've put shares up for sale. So they're going to get eight million. Boom, they're up that one. And and this one is going to go to the top of the public market at 8 million. The next share they're going to buy is Cardflix again. So they're getting another 10 million. And then these cycle down. So it, these are going to get less. So it always goes to 8. Then Dice Coin, that's going to sell for 6 million, which is double again. So 12. And then these cycle down. Okay. Now, if these ever sort of come off the board, you just sort of pump them through on the next event phase and you leave them in that particular order but you can buy these shares as well so you can say like meeple book is now really cheap at four million and dice coin is more expensive now whilst we're on this sort of phase i'm gonna give you an example of the importance of this social hype so let's say the startup has a dice coin uh meeple book is there and the public market we're going to buy some shares and you can see there's there's two shares here and you let's say you know three shares have already been purchased 
Where are we? Let's get some more shares out. So these three shares have been purchased in this particular case because it was the lowest five. Those are all added to here. And then it comes down to, right, who's, which share is going to get purchased because they're both five million. You then look at the social hype. So Dicecoin is the most popular at the moment. So that one is going to get sold first. And this share here is like, ah, I haven't managed to get sold because, you know, it's lower down in the pecking order. Now, if, for example, they were both Dicecoin, you're like, I'm looking at the social hype and, and dice coins, you know, further to the top. Then if it's still a tie, you go to the brand awareness and you can see that the star repper is ahead of the angel investor. So they would sell their share. So that's kind of the importance of the social hype and the importance of the brand awareness here. Okay. So that's a little about how the shares are all moving around. So we've done the top event card. We then resolve the event parameters, which we've done here, and the public have bought shares. So that one is discarded. And then you literally, you'll get rid of this workflow here, and you are back around to the start player, which is dictated by whoever had the unicorn. Okay, so you're literally going to keep going, and you can see at the end of the round how these are sort of going to progress now, and you're going to have different workflows to get the right cubes. Board tube's going to come out. And eventually, once these cards start sort of cycling up here... This is then, if it's going to go over here, and then it can no longer be affected by the workflow action, so you can't impact it. And also, you know, these cubes, hopefully, are going to be adding on as you go throughout the game. You cannot take a cube off, let's say this one was what, here, and this one is GDPR. You can't take that cube off. You always have to leave one on if you've acquired it. So, you know, if there was two marketing then yeah you could take one of them off so uh, if you've acquired it you know if you're still in this case you're getting a bit concerned because you haven't even attained one of these but and also when you're looking at these simultaneously you know if you've got one location that says add a cube and it never says take a cube then they kind of nullify each other and you know the cube isn't actually going on in terms of that these cards there's a selection in some of the decks but you get a chance to place cubes on some of them have x's where you're removing cubes some let you actually get money for them when you when they're triggered so you, like you can see these ones here sometimes they lose money some of them even have these sort of little symbols on where you can spend up to free innovation experience or likes and you can get up to three of the icons uh, matching uh, tokens as well so you can get you're most likely going to have loads of these cubes when you get to here but eventually this is going to come over here and let's say you know you've got a couple more blues on there and eventually these guys are going to be here these guys are going to be here and they'll have a host of cubes on them right once you finish six rounds, you are literally going to score up. And there's a little bit to this. So firstly, let me turn over the card here. You're going to reveal the secret parameters, which are these ones. So all of them would have had one chosen by the starter upper. So we'll start at the top then. They're going to reveal that one. And only they knew what was going to happen there. So an orange cube is going to be added to here, which is great. And a blue one is coming off a design. Okay, so that is the state of play. They are then going to compare the cubes in the two projects. So we've got Meeple Book versus Miniature Prime. Now, Meeple Book would have probably had more cubes added. So we're going to look at blue, and Miniature Prime is the leader. So they are gaining two of these red cubes on the side, which represent their market share. So we've done the blue, which is design. We then go to the, what's it, development, which is green. So if it's a tie, you're getting one each, if I can remember rightly. I believe it's one each. And then we're over to marketing. A Miniature Prime has more cubes. So Miniature Prime are getting another two. Actually, I lied. You should get one for being second. So let's start again then. So just to show you how this is going to work. So we've done the blues then. And these guys had more blue cubes. They're getting two. Second place is getting one. Then we're doing the greens, it's a tie, so they're both getting one. Then we're doing the marketing, if I move my hand out of the way. So they're getting two market share cues for winning marketing, and they're only getting one. So you need a combination of ten reds in play. So you've got three there, and you've got, what, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you've got 
eight cubes. So we need two more cubes to come out. And this goes to the player who has the most cubes in total. So they've only got three cubes and they've got five. So they are getting the remainder two. Okay, so that is market share. You're then going to reveal these tokens, the bull and bear market. So they know that this is going to go down one. What does that mean then? That means they've got a lower market share than they, they would have. So it's neutral in the middle. And then if you go down one, it's going to be for every four cubes. And then down one again is every three cubes. And then if you go in up, it's every four cubes and every three cubes. So it's neutral, four and threes. And what does that mean? So at the moment, it's on negative three, which means for every three cubes that are out there, you're going to lose one. So we've got three cubes here, so they're losing one. They've got three and a three, so they're losing two. Now, you might be thinking, well, why is that important? Clearly, these guys have won. But it impacts the value of each share. So these guys are now worth two, four, five million per miniature prime share. And if these starter up is managed to hold on to these, they're going to get, what, five times the two at the moment is 10 million. These are only going to be worth 2 million each for each of the Meeple books you have. So that is crucial. Now, let's just say this was revealed. And before you even did all that market share stuff, you, it, it took off. Let me try and make this work. Let's say that was the case. And we haven't even done all the market share yet. They're going to take a blue off this one. Oh, I think it took off that one, but a blue off that one. They haven't met the requirements. You need at least one design cube, one development, and one marketing to even be in the race. Otherwise, all your shares are worth zero. So you'll do all that. You'll do the same for this, the same for this one. Add up all your money, and whoever has the most money is the winner of Disrupt. There we are, folks. Enjoy.